I'm Beth Smart and welcome to Smart Planet. Today we have a real crisis on our hands. At least 20 pilot whales have beached themselves in the southern end of the Florida Keys. Three groups of pilot whales were found struggling along the shore and stuck in the mangroves. All of them would have been lost if not for the efforts of many agencies, including the U.S. Navy, the Marine Mammal Conservancy, the Dolphin and Marine Medical Research Foundation, the Arbor Branch Oceanographic Institute, and SeaWorld. And we can't forget all the volunteers helping keep the animals afloat 24-7, all of them heroes. With a few days of hydration and care, two whales were able to take the boat ride of their lives. With the help of dozens of volunteers, they were released back to the wild. However, the five remaining who were very weak and possibly sick had to be transported for rehabilitation. I had a small team from the Dolphin and Marine Medical Research Foundation, DMMR, helping me prepare the watery pen where the animals would be transferred to. Because the last thing you want is when they're coming in and out, just like when you're putting them in the water and you're sliding them in off a boat, you don't want their tissue to get torn up because their tissue is really fragile. The daunting task of moving five whales overnight took a small army. In this case, the U.S. Navy provided the muscle. Two calves and two females were hand carried out of the ocean in the dead of night. One by one, they were hoisted onto a refrigerated semi-truck. To lift the 18-foot long male, it literally took a crane and all the manpower available. Five whales that are in the truck that are on their way to MMC now. Everybody's okay right now. It's going to take about two hours to get down there. From there, it would be a two-hour drive north to the Marine Mammal Conservancy pen in Key Largo. Unloading the animals into the pen at the Marine Mammal Conservancy was just as tricky. All five whales made it alive. SeaWorld this morning was able to help out with an assortment of different rescue facilities to help these five pilot whales come back over to be in a rehabilitation center where hopefully they're going to be able to get back to health and get back out to the wild. Now we take turns in three to four hour shifts holding up the whales to keep them breathing. It's exhausting work, but none of us would have it any other way. It really is a spiritual experience. It, it certainly helps the animals and it helps ourselves understand our place in the universe. The whales will be assessed, receive medical treatment, and stabilized. Hopefully in the coming weeks, the whales will be well enough to return to the wild. In the meantime, we'll all do our part to keep them afloat. I'm Beth Smart, and that's the latest from Smart Planet.